Stakeholders and friends of the Mosotunya National Park have continued donating and feeding animals to avert hunger and minimize animal human conflict as a result of the drought. But to ensure a sustainable supply of food to the animals, the Livingstone Tourism Association, LTA, in partnership with other donors, have also started working on long-term solutions. One of the solutions is the regeneration of grass through irrigation. So we're hoping that more grass will grow by irrigating it. Um, at the moment we're using solar, I mean we're using diesel pumps, but we're hoping to find solutions with bigger solar pumps so that we're looking at not having to continue feeding every year. That's what we're really aiming at. The irrigation initiative is meant to supplement efforts by the Department of National Parks and Wildlife which has already installed solar-powered pumps to provide water to the animals in selected areas of the park. This was a, um, an initiative by DNPW. It's a very sustainable way of um, pumping water because it's a solar, solar pump. What it's done is create habitat for animals, for bird life, um, water away from the river, so it minimizes the impact of hooves down on the river and spreads the, the wildlife through the park as well as creating a really beautiful place for visitors to see animals drinking or in the area. An evergreen Mosotunya National Park is expected to keep animals within their natural habitats, thereby providing tourists with a better view and experience. Justin Akakulubelwa, ZNBC News, Livingston.